Welcome to Thai Tech. My name is Emmanuel Cyprian. In this video, I'll be sharing with you the top six NIST special publications you must know as an ISSO or as a security control assessor. These NIST publications, you must have them at your fingertips. These NIST publications are essential for you to know. Either you are preparing for job interview or you are already working on the job. You need to know these NIST publications. They are very vital. These are the NIST publications you will constantly be referencing and it's a very good guide. So let's start going through those top six NIST publications. The first one you must know is SP 837 Revision 2, Risk Management Framework for Information Systems and Organization. This publication contains the seven steps of the Risk Management Framework. This uh, NIST publication contains how these seven steps can be executed, can be implemented. So this publication describes the risk management framework and provides guidelines for applying the RMF to information systems and organizations. The RMF provides a disciplined, structured, and flexible process for managing security and privacy risk that includes security categorization, security control selection, implementation and assessment, system and common control authorization, and continuous monitoring. The RMF includes activities to prepare organizations to execute the framework at appropriate risk management level, which means that this is the NIST publication that will guide you on how to execute the risk management framework steps, which is the seven steps. The NIST publications we want to look, about, uh, uh, look at is 860, Volume 1 and Volume 2. These NIST publications are used by federal agencies to categorize information and information systems collected or maintained by or on behalf of each agency based on the objective of providing appropriate levels of information security according to a range of risk level and guidance recommending the types of information and information system to be included in each category. What does this mean? It means that SP 860 Volume 1 contains the mapping of information and information system to security categorization. Now, SP 860 Volume 2 contains the appendices. What are appendices? It means all kind of information types and their recommended categorization is in this NIST publication. So, during categorization of information and information system, SP 860 Volume 1 and SP 860 Volume 2 are your reference needs publication. Please don't forget that. The next publication we need to look at is FIPS 199, Standard for Security Categorization of Federal Information and Information System. The purpose of this document is to provide a standard for categorizing federal information and information systems according to an agency's level of concern for confidentiality, integrity, and availability, and the potential impact on agency assets and operations should their information and system be compromised through unauthorized access, use, disclosure, disruption, modification, or destruction. What does this mean? It means that FIPS 199 is the standard for categorization. During categorization, there are two things you must put in mind. One is the CIA, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. This is defined in the standard publication, which is FIP 199. Also, the definition for potential impact, high, moderate, and low, is also defined in FIP 199. So that is why it is the standard for categorization. What is the difference between SP 860 and FIPS 199? SP 860 is the guidance for categorization. FIPS 199 is the standard for categorization. So that, these are the uh, 
publications you must pay attention to and you must reference during categorization. SP 853 Revision 5, Security and Privacy Controls for Information Systems and Organization. This is the newly updated SP 800 from Revision 853 from Revision 4 to Revision 5. This publication provides a catalog of security and privacy controls for information systems and organization to protect organizations operation and asset from a diverse set of threats and risk including hostile attack human errors natural disasters structural failures foreign intelligence entities and privacy risk meaning that this NIST publication 853 Rev 5 contains all sorts of security and privacy controls you may think about that will help organizations to protect their information and information system. So when you want to select security controls, this is the NIST publications you need to reference. Also, SP 853B control baseline for information systems and organization. Now, this NIST publication is where you go when you want to select controls based on the categorization of your system. If you categorize your system as high, moderate, or low, there are a set of recommended controls for each of the categorized system. For example, if you categorize your system as a moderate impact system, you're going to be selecting about 287 controls from SP853B. So this is the NIST publication that will guide you on how to select the controls and which controls to select in accordance with your categorized system. And then we have SP853A Rev4 assessing security and privacy controls in federal information systems and organization. This publication provides a set of procedures for conducting assessment of security controls and privacy controls employed within federal information systems and organization. The assessment procedures executed at various phases of the system development lifecycle are consistent with the security and privacy controls in NIST special publication 853 revision 5. It means that during assessment of security controls, this SP853A Rev4 is the next publication you must reference. So you must know this publication. And then lastly, SP800-18 Rev1, Guide for Developing Security Plans for Federal Information System. The purpose of this uh, security plan is to provide an overview of security requirements of the system and describe the control in place or plan for meeting those requirements. It means that if you need to know how to develop SSP, what are the content of SSP, the template of SSP, if it's contained in SP 800-18 Rev 1. But don't forget, it's no longer called SSP. It is now called Security and Privacy a plan, security and privacy plan. So these are the top six NIST special publications you must know as an information system security officer or a security control assessor. You must know this NIST publication because you're going to be referencing them either during the course of interview or on the job. If this video has been helpful to you, please subscribe to my channel like this video and turn on your notification button so that you'll be able to get more content. You'll be notified when I post new content on my channel. And also, if you need assistance regarding your resume, preparing for job interviews, please reach out to me so that we can discuss about the discounted prices for this one-on-one -on -one consultation. And if you need videos, self-paced videos that you can watch at your own pace, at your own time, at your own schedule for this risk management framework process, please reach out to me so we can discuss about the discounted price for these self-paced videos. Thank you very much.